now we will see the rx js operators zip combine latest with latest from fork join basically these operators will be used to combine the multiple observables into the single one so for example if you have a dashboard you know we are requesting uh, multiple endpoints and you have to display it to the dashboard only after receiving the response from the uh, both the request so in that case what you can do you can use these any one of the operators according to the, your requirement and finally you can display the the values to the dashboard we'll go and see uh, these operators one by one and also we will find the differences between these operators So for this one, we can use a JS Fiddle uh, to test these uh, these operators. First, let's go the JS Fiddle. Okay, to getting into that one, first you know uh, we have to uh, get the arcs.js file. What I can do? Uh, so let's go and find that uh, arcs.js file. So if you go to the side here, here you can see that one. So this is one of this one and uh, you can take this, copy this URL and replace this RxJS at version. If you want to put 5.3.0 or if you want to put 6.00, you can make use of you know, respective version. But let me, let me copy this value and I'm putting it to here script src and I'm going to use 6.00 version and what I can do now okay so to test these two uh, these operators let's uh, create one text box And let me create uh, another text box and let me create a uh, few buttons And, uh, and let me create another button which is button 2 let me keep this separately let me put some tags let me see whether it is running or not
okay yeah I can see these two text boxes and and these buttons now what I can do I have to get these object text object and button object for that what I can do I can create button one equal to document dot query selector in that uh, let me put button one and let me select button two and for text one let me put text one and another for text two text two so now I got that one uh, all the control objects now what I can do if I want to handle these events I just have to create you know the events button 1 event observable from event okay so I have to button event which event click event and also for button 2 event I can use a button to event and so basically what I would like to do I want to handle the, the events so let me check button one event dot subscribe button to event this button let me check whether it is two buttons is click event is working or not I don't see that Let me change the version here. Actually, uh, I think uh, we have to refer the correct version. Let me change point to here. Five point three zero. Let's see. Uh, yes, now I can see my console log for both event. Now what I can do, let me create a one subject that is a one observable. 
which will send the data subject one equal to new rx dot subject and let me create another subject which is subject two so what i can do you know uh, i can go and uh, i just if subject one sending the data it will send the data like this for example um, it will send the data of like this so subject to if is if it is sending then it will send the data like this but i want to combine these two observable into a single single one so what i can do i just want to basically you know handle these values of text boxes so basically the subject each and every subject is this this is subject one and subject two value so whenever we enter and click the event it will send the values for the subject one this one will send the values for the subject two so let me change the code here what I can do let me let me send the value of subject one here and same thing let me do it for here subject two I'm going to send the text box to value okay so what I can what I'm going to do now I'm going to see whenever I'm clicking these two buttons so it will send it will take this respective text box value and uh, send from the subject one subject one is nothing but observable so these two are observables what I'm going to do I'm going to collect these two observable values using the zip operator now let me go and create rx observable dot zip operator so what I can do here so subject one and subject two combined observable so now I combine that one these two observables I am going to subscribe to these observables what I'm, go what I'm going to do I'll subscribe so to get these two how many observables we are using we can use like this so uh, instead of getting the value through an array you can split the values like you can what you can do here with one dot value comma subject to value okay now uh, what i'm going to do I'm going to log these two values. Text one value equal to subject one value and another subject two value. okay let's see how it behaves now abc 
I am sending the value for this observable first and then x, y, z and sending from observable 2. Now if you see that one, you know, you are seeing, I think we have wrongly done here. So we have to put it here like this. Let me do it one by one again. Let I'm sending first observable value now. Next, I'm sending for next observable value. So now I am seeing that one. If I'm changing here and sending it again, it won't log. Why? Because that is a zip operator. Zip operator will always listen and see that one whether the value for the both the observable value is changed or not. The value is changed for the both both the observable, then only it will emit the value. For example, the event will be triggered. So let me change here also. Now see that one. Now it is triggering. Now if I'm changing here again, if I'm sending it won't. Now only one observable value is changed. If I'm changing, if I'm going to change the next observable value, it will get triggered. So now we will find that, uh, you know, so um, how the zip operator behaving. So zip operator will behave, will see that one, whether both the observable value got changed, then only it will trigger. Otherwise it won't trigger. Now let's see uh, another operator combined latest. So I'm going to use another operator. Can change this one to zip observable. I'm going to use combine latest. So I'm going to subscribe for this observable to identify whether it is coming from which observable. Let me put some identification here Combine latest operator values. Now let's see that one. We will run freshly. I am changing here. I am sending it here. Now both the operator not triggered. And now I am changing X for another observable value. Now I see, if you guys see that one, you know zip value and combine lattice both operator value it's got both operator got triggered now let's change the value for one of the observable i'm clicking here if you see that one it is triggering only the combined because that is the differences between zip and combine latest zip will trigger only if both the value got changed but if it is a combined latest it will find if any one of the value got changed it will trigger okay now if i see that one now i'm changing here also now see whether now zip and combine because now two values got changed that that's why zip 
is triggering and also combine letter is triggering. Now if I'm changing only one now, you can see that only it will trigger only combined letters because that combined letters operator will trigger if any one of the observable value got changed. That's the main differences between combined latest and zip operator. Now let's see that another operator. with latest from so with latest from you have to use it differently subject one with latest from we are adding sub two subject two with latest from observable and I'm changing here okay now let's see that one how the with latest from operator is behaving let me clear let me enter the value both the operator not triggered if I'm doing XYZ now it will both operator will trigger now if you see that one the width latest from it's not triggered why because it will it will act as a master slave concept okay it will always check for that value change only for that master if there is any value change in the master master here is subject one subject one observable first observable if first first observable value got changed then only it will trigger otherwise it won't trigger now we'll change that one be here now if you see that one with latest value got changed now if i'm changing here it, it will trigger only the combined latest it won't trigger the with latest from if you see that one here it is triggering only combined latest when it will trigger that with latest from that will trigger only if any changes happen in the master observable master observable is the first one so i am changing here so now if you see that one the next one with latest from operators got triggered now let's see one more operator One more operator is nothing but form join. Form join form join it won't trigger at any point of time until the both observable completing the process. Let's see. Let me clear now and running again. If I'm having ABC clicking XYZ observable 2. If I'm changing here, changing here, changing here. If you see that one, you know, the fork join won't be triggered because these operators will listen for the stream of bytes stream of values okay whether it is process is completed or not whether these observable both observable is completed or not these operators will get triggered but form join will get triggered only after completing the both the observable complete means what then it has to use a complete function right subject one dot complete subject two dot complete so let's see that one i 
I am going to add one button for completing. Complete one. Complete one and we add complete two here. So now I have added complete two. So I just want to complete two, complete one, complete one, complete two. Okay, now I need an event. I want to do complete that one now I'm going to have one other event complete one complete two event complete one so what I'm going to do complete one event and complete two event so what I'm going to do here I'm going to complete the subject one okay so what I'm going to do complete here same way here I'm going to complete so what I'm trying to do here What I'm trying to do here, so I have a one complete one button, complete two button. So what I'm doing here, if I'm clicking here, complete one, what it will do, it will, that first observable will complete the process. If I'm clicking complete two, second subject observable will complete the process, okay. So this folk join will get triggered only after completing the both the observable. Let's see that one, how it is behaving. ABC I'm passing the value ABC and then XYZ passing the value to the observable subject 2 and now this got this 2 got triggered so I'm changing here it will trigger only the combined latest if I'm changing the master it will with latest and zip cut will get triggered zip combine latest and with latest also got triggered that's correct now if you see that one in all the scenarios the folk join not you know triggered so what i'm going to do now i'm going to complete now so if i'm completing now it is still not got triggered because we have completed only one observable now i'm going to complete two excellent now if you see that one it's got triggered only after completing the both the observable okay so that is the main differences you know between these operators zip operator will behave how it will when it will trigger it will trigger you know it will trigger when both the value got changed and we combine latest any one of the value is got changed it will get trigger with latest from it will get triggered only the master one got changed and folk join operator will get triggered only after completing the both the observable okay so that is the main differences between these four operators it's up to uh, you know your requirement based on your scenario you have to use respective operator in your application thanks Hope you enjoyed.